if n is a positive integer show that p plus iq all power 1 by n plus p minus iq all power 1 by n equal to 2 times of p square plus q square all power 1 by 2 n into cos of 1 by n into tan inverse of q by p okay how to solve this so here consider first the complex number is p plus i q okay we know that any complex number is in the form of a plus i b can be represented in the polar form is r times of cos theta plus i sin theta where r equals to square root of a square plus b square and theta equals to tan inverse of imaginary by real b by a okay so the modulus amplitude form of a complex number okay here in the question is asking us to show that the cos of some angle so that means here we need to convert the given complex numbers into the polar form then we can write over here i am writing over here as some p plus i q is r times of cos theta plus i times of sin theta okay where r is equals to i can write over here r is equals to square root of p square plus q square i can write r equals to square root of p square plus q square and theta equal to tan inverse of q by p imaginary by real okay tan inverse of q by p then the question is asking us p plus iq all power 1 by n okay then we can write this as r power 1 by n into cos theta plus i times of sin theta all power 1 by n okay whole power 1 by n now if we apply the demos theorem we can write this is as r power 1 by n into cos theta by n plus i times of sin theta by n okay which is p plus i q all power 1 by n p plus i q all power 1 by n. so now represent the p minus i q okay we can represent the p minus i q as r times of cos theta minus i sin theta okay we represent in this manner r times of cos theta minus i sin theta otherwise we can write this as r times of cos of minus theta plus i sin of minus theta why because the minus theta it is in the fourth quadrant okay so otherwise r times of cos theta minus i sin theta where r equals to again square root of p square plus q square and theta equals to tan inverse of okay q by p okay tan inverse of q by p which is theta okay so now we can write p minus i q power 1 by n okay p minus i q power 1 by n can be written as r power 1 by n into cos theta minus i sin theta whole power 1 by n so which is equivalence to r power 1 by n into cos theta by n minus i times of sin theta by n okay by applying the de Moivre's theorem then we can have in the two terms in the lhs p plus iq all power n and p minus iq all power 1 by n now add these two okay if we add these two so the lhs is given as p plus iq all power 1 by n plus p minus iq all power 1 by n equal to we can write this is as r power 1 by n into cos theta by n plus i times of sin theta by n plus r power 1 by n into cos theta by n minus i sin theta by n 
okay now if we take r power 1 by n as a common okay if we take r power 1 by n as a common then we can add this cos theta n plus i sin theta by n plus cos theta by n minus i sin theta by n so we can write this is as r power 1 by n into 2 times of cos theta by n okay into 2 times of cos theta by n and we know that what is r r is nothing but square root of p square plus q square now we can write this is as r can be replaced as square root of p square plus q square all power 1 by n into 2 into cos of 1 by n into theta and what is theta theta is nothing but tan inverse of q by p okay tan inverse of q by p then the resultant we can write this is as p square plus q square square root tau, square root can be written as 1 by 2 power 1 by 2 into 1 by n then we can write it as power 1 by 2n into 2 into cos of 1 by n into tan inverse of q by p so therefore the given question asking us to show that p plus i q all power 1 by n plus p minus i q all power 1 by n is equal to 2 times of p square plus q square power 1 by 2n into cos of 1 by n into tan inverse of q by p tan inverse of q by p so which is our required result okay simply convert into the polar form then apply the demos theorem we will get the required condition we can show that the given condition next question is solve x minus 1 all power n equals to x power n where n is a positive integer he has given that x minus 1 all power n equal to x power n and we can write this is as x minus 1 by x all power n equal to 1 okay so now we can write this is as x minus 1 by x equals to 1 power 1 by n that means x minus 1 by x is equals to nth root of unity okay here it is nth root of unity then we can write this is as 1 minus 1 by x x minus 1 by x can be written as 1 minus 1 by x and we have seen in more problems directly i am writing this is as a so cos 0 plus i sin 0 in generalize we can generalize this is as cos 2 k pi plus i times of sin 2 k pi power 1 by n and by applying the demovis theorem we can write as 1 minus 1 by x equal to cos 2 k pi by n plus i times of sin 2k pi by n okay 2k pi by n so from this one we can write this is as uh, take 1 by x into the rhs and uh, remaining all the terms into the lhs then we can write this is as 1 by cos 2k pi by n minus i times of sine 2k pi by n equal to 1 by x okay so now 1 minus cos theta can be written as okay 1 minus cos theta can be written as 2 sin square theta by 2 otherwise 1 minus cos 2 theta here theta equals to k pi by n 1 minus cos 2 theta can be written as 2 sin square theta then we can write the 2 sin square k pi by n minus and sin 2 theta can be written as 2 sin theta cos theta i into 2 sin theta sin k pi by n into cos theta cos k pi by n equal to 1 by x okay so now i am going for the solution over here then we have over here it has 2 sin 
k pi by n is a common then if we take two sin k pi by n is a common then we can write this as sin k pi by n minus i times of cos k pi by n and which is equal to 1 by x so from this one we can write as x is equals to 1 by okay 2 times of sin k pi by n into sin k pi by n minus i times of cos k pi by n okay minus i times of cos k pi by n now we can rationalize with okay now we can rationalize with so what it is here the rationalize with cos okay sin t uh, sin a minus i b rationalize with the conjugate a plus i b then we can write over here it is as sin k pi by n plus i times of cos k pi by n by sin k pi by n plus i times of cos k pi by n so now we can write over here it is x is equal to so sin k pi by n plus i times of cos k pi by n okay i times of cos k pi by n by we can write this is as 2 sin k pi by n okay now in the denominator in the form of a minus ib into a plus ib a square plus b square that means sin square k pi by n plus cos square k pi by n so sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 then we have over here x equal to sin okay i'm take 1 by 2 as an outside 1 by 2 of sin k pi by n plus i times of cos k pi by n by sin k pi by n okay now if we further simplify this we can write as x equal to 1 by 2 times of so what it is sin k pi by n by sin k pi by n which is 1 plus i times of cos by sin okay 1 plus i times of cot of k pi by n okay cos by sin is cot of k pi by n where k values okay from the generalization k values has to be taken from 0 to n minus 1 the k values has to be taken from 0 1 2 and 2 up to n minus 1 the k values has to be taken up to n minus 1 then this is the solution to find out this one so the resultant is x is equals to cos 1 by 2 times of 1 plus i times of cot k pi by n is our required solution.